Our first story comes to you from a Spanish island where a flight was delayed for an odd reason. It was too heavy to take off. So instead, passengers were asked to disembark. Here's our report. Taking a flight can be a nuisance with loudly munching fellow passengers or someone long legs who keeps hitting your chair from behind. Even worse, when someone next to you just would not stop talking. But if these instances seem bad, wait for what we're about to tell you. The incident happened on an EasyJet flight and it made headlines everywhere. The flight got too heavy to take off. Seriously, it got heavier than expected and the weather conditions weren't great either. So 19 passengers were forced to disembark. Wait, correction, they were strongly urged to volunteer to disembark. We'll tell you what happened. The EasyJet flight was supposed to take off from Lanzarote, a Spanish island. It was scheduled to take off at 9.45 p.m. But the weather conditions were poor, and apparently the aircraft was too heavy. So the air crew came in for a big announcement. They asked passengers to volunteer to choose not to fly. Thankfully, they didn't push anyone out. That would have been a bit much. They just asked people to leave on their own. And at this point in time, people were exchanging awkward looks. And you can hear people murmur in the background. But then came the good part. The flight offered an incentive to the volunteers. That incentive was $557 per passenger who was willing not to fly out. And reportedly, you could immediately hear seatbelts click. Suddenly, people were willing to miss the flight and 19 volunteers were marched off the plane. The flight got delayed for a while, but this incident was recorded on TikTok and it went viral. At least something good came out of it all. Of course, only second to the safety of the people, who, we hope, aren't conscious about their weight, else this heavy flight incident may have hit a nerve. Now speaking of airports, people try and smuggle the weirdest things across or across borders, at least they try to. Like this one woman in China who tried to smuggle snakes. And where was she hiding them? In her bra. Here's our report. This week, China Customs got a slithering surprise. A strangely shaped woman. Why so? Because she was hiding snakes inside of her bra. Not one, not two, but five of them. She had wrapped them in stockings and planted all five inside of her bra. The incident took place at Futian Port in the city of Shenzhen, which links Hong Kong to China's mainland. This was surely creative, taking snakes through the border. Nicely packed inside stockings, but this is hardly the first time that strange items have been confiscated by Chinese customs. In June this year, a man was caught hiding 112 Nintendo game cards. Not inside of a bra, but inside of his shoes. Earlier in January, another woman was inspected after walking strangely. She was found with over 2,000 SD cards, hidden inside of her underwear. Sounds both creative and very uncomfortable at the same time. But again, these antiques are not limited to customs in China. People try to sneak the strangest of things through security across the world. In 2019, a man was caught by German customs, trying to smuggle a boa constrictor on an airplane. Had he been successful, it would have been a serious case of snakes on the plane. Back in 2007, the UK customs caught a passenger with a jar full of human eyeballs. Yeeks! The US customs once found a rocket launcher, nicely hidden inside of a bag that had been checked in. In 2009, Australian customs caught a passenger. He had wrapped pigeons in newspaper and strapped them onto his legs. What was he even thinking? But honestly, this is barely scratching the surface. People have tried to smuggle drugs hidden inside of goat meat, breast implants and even foosball tables, landmines and hand grenades, human skeletons, brains and intestines. Maybe they are right when they say only two things are infinite, 
the universe and human stupidity. Thankfully, customs officers are on guard about the latter. Our next story is about a sea otter. She steals surfboards at the seashore. And she's gone viral. Here's the story. This week, many surfers in California have been victims of a crime at sea. Board jacking. Who's the culprit? A five-year-old sea otter who seems to love larceny because this female sea otter accosts the surfers, seizes their surfboards and rides the waves. The otter was first observed stealing a board in 2021. At first, her behaviour was a rarity. But over time, she grew bolder and this week she was seen stealing on three separate occasions. One surfer tried to paddle away from her, but she bit off his leash. So he couldn't get far and simply watched in horror as the otter climbed atop the surfboard and casually ripped chunks off it. As they say, no guts, no glory. But her behavior has ensued otter chaos, at least for the authorities. They have decided to capture the otter and put an end to her knack for theft and taste for surfboards. They want to rehome her. There have been no reports of the otter injuring a human, but otters have really sharp, strong teeth. If she were to harm a human, this would be bad for both the species, because it would cause authorities to euthanize her. But this otter's story is truly of crime and fearlessness, because she has still managed to evade the authorities, and she is still at large probably hatching a plan for her next escapade. And that's all for this episode of Beyond Bizarre. We'll be back again next week with more stories that are anything but basic.